Ken Squire, uh, you wear so many hats, radio executive, uh, television star, and track promoter. It's great that this Hall of Fame honors not just the stars of Sprint Cup of 61 years, but all of NASCAR's many divisions. Yes, someday I'll find something that works. <laughs> Yeah, it really is, and the fact that the Modifieds and the Sportsman, which is really what Ingram represents with that car number 11 from the early 80s, but also in there is a wonderful car that everybody from the Northeast knew well because it was the nine-time champion, and that was the car of Richie Evans, which you knew so well, Mike, from your days, as he grew up much as I did, he at uh, the Stafford Spring Speedway in Connecticut, and that was a car you saw week after week. The Rapid Roman... Richie Evans, nine-time modified champion. His crew chief, Billy Nasowitz, restored that car yeah. for the Hall of Fame. Richie is still missed. Now, many of the drivers who are not part of the inaugural class and many other folks in NASCAR, uh, including yourself, Ken, are uh, shown and mentioned on plaques inside the Hall of Fame, and they include modified stars Evans, and Jerry Cook, and Mike Stefanik. Well, they say now that that is the oldest division of NASCAR, and it was for the Northeast. In fact, a lot of the early NASCAR history came out of New England and Rhode Island in particular for one race way back in the mid 40s. But it was the modifieds, and when you talk about modifieds, what's a modified? Well, they knocked the fenders off them, so they became modifieds, and the sportsmen were cars that looked a little more like what you'd have on the road. Not for long after they'd run 15 or 20 races, right, Mike? Yeah. Yeah. Sam Ard, Bug Stevens, many of them are mentioned yeah. in the Hall of Fame. Carl and very, very early as Bugsy Stevens. <laughs> Yeah, and Satch Worley down this way, yeah. and Mr. Modified, uh, Jack right Ingram out of Virginia. Yeah. Uh, so, so many local names, and that was part of what made it all work, was the fact that there were local heroes throughout the game. And then France came along, and Bill put together a series that brought so many of them together, particularly in the Southeast. And that's where we got our beginning of Grand National Competition, a name he stole right from Mother England. <laughs> you know, Mike, we, we think that our 36-race Sprint Cup Series schedule, as we know it today, is overwhelming. And, of course, we get on airplanes and fly to most of these races. But when you look at NASCAR grassroots series, like the Modified, like the old Sportsman Series, when you think about Sam R., Jack Inge, or Richie Evans, and Jerry Cook, guys like that, to win those championships, those guys did it with a couple of volunteer crewmen with maybe one or two race cars, and the closest they would get to an airport would be if they drove by it headed to the next <laughs> race track. Maybe 80 to 90 races a year to win those championships. Great stories, and I'm afraid we'll have to save them for another time. But for the yeah. average Joe and Joanne across America, it was those short track cars that made the difference in the beginning. Thanks, Ken. Thanks for joining us. Nice to be here.